Now the fourth problem. This is a very important one. The coefficient of friction between a 5 kilogram box and the floor is 0.6. How large a force is necessary to give the box an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared? All right. What we need to do first is uh, find the coefficient of friction, it says, between a 5 kilogram box is 0.6. Well, if that's the coefficient of friction, we're assuming they mean that it's moving, it's the kinetic friction, and we can find the friction from mu mg. So this is the kinetic friction. We have all we need. Mu is 0.6, m is 5 kilograms, and g, of course, is 9.8 meters per second squared. So this will give us the coefficient, uh, the friction, the kinetic friction, and we calculate it and we find that it's 29.4 newtons. Now, that is the kinetic friction. We're going to pull and we have to have a greater pull force than the friction because it is accelerating. So we write down 29.4 and we know it's accelerating. We've been given that. The acceleration is 2 meters per second squared, obviously in the direction of the pull force. Now, remember how to solve these problems. We find the net force. We have a diagram. Now, the net force is the pull minus the 29.4. P minus 29.4. Net force equals MA. And we have both M and A, and very easy. M is 5, A is 2. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, and I know it's 10 newtons. So now I'm going to have the pull force is equal to, I just add it in my head, 39.4 uh, newtons. Now what I suggest you do is do this uh, very question from scratch. Practice explaining it as you go until you know how to solve it really, really well.